Plastic on Daybreak, we've been helping people put together the basics for their workplace wardrobe. But you can branch out a little bit and make a statement without breaking the rules. Absolutely, and we talked to a professional image consultant about the do's and don'ts of your workplace wardrobe and the basic things you need to make a statement but still be taken seriously. Want to distinguish yourself at work but not sure what in your closet will do the job? In comes Sandy Dumont, the image architect. It only takes two seconds to make a long-lasting and very powerful and memorable first impression. We tasked Sandy with giving fundraiser Tarina Keen a power makeover using what she has in her own closet. There's tons you can do with this, for example, just tons. It looks like it's a skirt and pants, so lots of versatility here. Sandy puts Tarina in the black suit jacket and accessorizes. Now that's all you need for you to make the statement, I wear you black suit, you don't wear me. But she says there are a few other things women should always include to make a power statement. Professional makeup makes you come across as more powerful, more credible, so you do want to consider wearing makeup to the office. I consider power accessories and lipstick the two most powerful things a woman could do. Big earrings, pins and necklaces, all part of the image package. Power colors are part of the package too. 80% plus of people are having cool skin and look better in cool primary colors. Sandy puts Tarina in a vibrant red jacket and with a lipstick change. It does sort of change your image of you. So your whole too. persona changes. Mm -hmm. You make an impact and you have a lot higher credibility. You look like you have a lot of self-assurance. But Sandy says avoid common mistakes when it comes to the bust line. It's just attention grabbing and it takes the attention from you and you don't look serious. That goes for the hemline too. Anywhere between there and there is fine. All right, let's point that out again. Sandy says an inch above or below the knee, a good rule of thumb for your skirt length and about that power color. She says do your research, then invest in some key pieces. You can see my story and get more information on our website at WVEC.com. The good point that she mm -hmm. made, I think that a lot of people forget sometimes, is that power accessories and just lipstick. Lipstick can makes make such a an impact. huge difference. Yeah, huge difference. Don't leave home without it. Yeah, that's all you wear. <laughs> Take your red or your pink lipstick with you. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Next week is college week. Okay. So this should be interesting stuff. Thank you, Vanessa. Tom